Greetings, Eric Packer, New Zealand naturopath, author of Candida Crusher, formulator of the Candida range of dietary supplements. Thanks for checking out the video again. I've got a question here from a lady through my YouTube channel. Can you eat apples with Candida? Good question. Now, the interesting thing about apples is, it's been, we're going into springtime in New Zealand, but in winter time, this past winter, I've spent a considerable amount of time in my garden establishing a, a small orchard. I've planted eight apple trees. I've planted two pear trees. I've planted two cherry trees, uh, four apricot trees, two plum trees, and so many different trees I've put in the ground. But the trees I've put in are heritage trees. These are trees that are not modern. So these trees were bred to, uh, up, some of them up to 200 years ago, they were first bred by people. So what do I mean by this? Well, if we look at some of the older varieties, for example, one of the apple trees I'm very much looking forward to getting the fruit from is called Cox Orange Pippin. Now, the Cox Pippin dates back to 1837, so it's been around a long time. Most of the New Zealand cultivars that we have now, like Royal Gala, Pacific Rose, for example, apples like that, uh, these apples have been bred off the Cox Pippin. Okay, so they've been bred to have a high sugar content, to have a nice red color, okay, to store reasonably well, to store well, particularly well in cool in coolers where they can keep them for long periods of time. These are crappy apples. I don't like them. They taste like crap. I don't like them at all. Granny Smith is available. Now, that's an old Australian cultivar that was uh, found in the backyard of a lady's place, and I think it's from the 1920s. So it's again getting on close to 100 years old. So if you're going to eat an apple and you want to make sure it's okay for candida, I would recommend you go more for the older varieties, which uh, tend to be more tart and have more flavor. I think they have got a much more complicated nutritional profile. They've got a higher flavonoid profile. They're healthier apples. They've got better fiber content, nutritionally superior, it's definitely worth going to a farmer's market or inquiring in your area who grows heritage apples or old apples, preferably old English or old American ones that were grown 100 odd years ago. So keep away from the modern ones. If they taste really, really sweet, they could end up causing you a lot of bloating or gas. If they tend to be more tart and have a higher malic acid content and have this sort of acidy flavor, a little bit like black currants. You know, have you ever tried black currants? or red currants, or blackberries. Berries tend to have tartaric acid in them, uh, which gives you that sort of like tarty kind of flavor, that sort of bittery flavor. I find that to be perfectly acceptable for people with candida. But if you're gonna go for one of the new modern varieties, for example, like uh, Royal Gala or Pink Lady Apple, I'm not sure what your cultivars are in America or the UK, but if you go for the new varieties, these are likely to cause burping, bloating, gas, and bowel problems. Go for the old varieties, okay? There's plenty around, you just need to make inquiries, and you start with one apple per day. Golden Delicious is another a variety I'm growing. Very good. Egmont Russet. Egmont Russet is a, is, a, is a russety apple with a sort of russet sort of like appearance, like a pear, you know, that sort of funny brownie kind of skin. Very, very good variety of apple. So again, I will eat these with confidence and probably make cider out of them and then dry them in my dehydrator and then have dehydrated apples and make stewed apples out of them and all kinds of dishes, and make baked apple dishes and apple pies out of them. And, you know, these are great things to do. And what I'm doing is nothing new. People have done this for hundreds of years. But be careful about adding sugar to apple dishes like apple pies or stewed apple. Not a good idea. One apple per day, heritage variety, Give it a try and let me know on YouTube uh, what the feedback is. I'm sure you'll be satisfied with it. Don't let people tell you you can't have apples when you've got candida. You've got to eat the right kind of apples. And be careful if you're going to process them, not to add sugar. So I hope that answers your question about can you eat apples with candida. Don't forget to click on the link in the description box if you haven't got my report. And please subscribe. Thank you.